Yo, Elliot. So, got a really interesting question from one of our buddies in Italy. He's involved in calisthenic training, jujitsu, and CrossFit, right? And he has to move to a new city, Milan, he says where there is a fantastic Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu gym that he's attended a few times. He finds that the instructor is great, the courses are great, he's learning a lot, but he's discovered just through uh, communication with the instructor and different guys in the class and just paraphernalia, you know, propaganda throughout the school that these guys are literally Nazis. So white supremacists of some in, in some regard, essentially, they're you know they're racist towards certain types of people, and you know our friend is getting a really good workout. He's getting great instruction, but he's wondering if like, man, should I continue to be involved in this type of school where I'm getting great results, I'm getting great instruction, but everybody here is fucking nuts when it, when it comes to this this idea of, of being a Nazi or being racist. These are just his words, you know. I'm not to offend any Nazis out there, you uh, you guys. Here's the thing, always seek out individuals, schools, churches, organizations that can provide you with what you need for a particular length of your journey. You know, there are certain things that you're going to need on your journey that you're going to be able to find in really nutty places and sometimes from really nutty people. Right? Nutty places and nutty people often are really, really good at one particular thing. So I've subjected myself to all different types of philosophies and religions. I've, been, I've, I've gone to and been a part of so many different weird communities simply because I saw that there was something in there beyond all the dogma and all the weirdness that I could extract and it would support me in my journey of growing stronger. You see this. You see this when you go into the, into the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu place and the instructors feeding you where you need to be fed, supporting you where you need to be supported in order to grow stronger, but there's all this weird dogma. There's all this weird shit that's surrounding it. Don't be distracted by the weirdness. If they're helping you, continue to go. But now this is a test of your character. This is a test of your strength. Apparently you're aware of what's happening right now, which is good. Awareness is transformative in and of itself and you need to maintain your awareness as you're navigating through the instruction with this school. Because you're going to get what you want but there, there's also going to be this subtle brainwashing that's going to infiltrate. It's going to happen. Notice when it starts to happen. Right? When you, and this is even in fitness, you know, you go to a particular gym and it's a CrossFit gym. Well, I like the workouts, but boy, these guys are fucking cult, cultish, right? You go in with the with humility and gratitude for what's being offered. You get what is useful and you leave the rest out. The, what's being tested here for you is your, the character of strength, the virtue that's being tested here for you is detachment. Can you be detached enough to receive what you need without being consciously infiltrated by nutty ass people? Right? And this is going to be a skill that you could carry with you in other areas of your life. And you're going to have to do this. You're going to work in, you're going to work in work environments where there are people who are just psychotic, annoying weirdos. And you got to go to the job because you got to earn a living. And you, maybe you like the job. Maybe everything about the job is perfect, except, damn, my boss is a dick face and the people working with me are all psychotic. You got to be able to do what you got to do, get what you need without being affected by other people. So if for nothing else, go to the school so that you can develop that character strength. You grow stronger. You become a, version, a stronger version of yourself by subjecting yourself to this type of pressure. Now, if a year from now, I see you out on the street, which I probably never will, and you're wearing you know, Nazi paraphernalia and you're, you know, you're talking all this white supremacist shit, then it's like, ah, they got you, dude. Mm. And it's not about the Nazi philosophies that they, that, they got, that they gave you. It's not right or wrong with regard to that. I don't give a shit. I'm not here to judge that. It's, man, you were so weak that they got you. They infiltrated. You weren't strong enough. And you'll probably defend that. Oh, no, but they're right. Ah, bottom line is you were aware and they got you. That's really, that's really where you lose. That's really where the weakness is exposed. Yeah. 
So oftentimes I expose myself to challenges simply to see if I have the character strength to withstand it or to strengthen a particular virtue that I know I'm going to need later on in life. So that's it, dude. Good luck. Yo, Elliot.